This is Raider for On The Run Entertainment Blog coming to another edition of MLB Observations Week 13 of the 2023 season. Let's start off with the Cubs. They were in London the other other day to start off this the week. Then they have Swanson batting fourth or fifth. He was perfect in the two spot. I don't understand why you're moving him. And then putting Suzuki in the two spot when again he was batting in the middle of the lineup. Now Hap is batting cleanup in some of these lineups and I'm like better if he's three he's not a cleanup hitter guy bellinger since he come back from injury playing first base i like that but now yesterday he played center field i'm like okay i guess it was a short experiment and then chris burrell i know they want his bat in the lineup but dh'ing him and playing him in center field to stretch when he's not an alpha there by trade and dh is a guy you want to who doesn't have a who can't feel this position and there's not room at his spot and then again third and fourth is really way too much for this guy he's not a power hitter and in the game yesterday, I think it was, he tried bunting. And people were surprised he bunted it when he's batting third or fourth. That's the player is. He's going to try to get on base. That's why it's not a three or four spot type of guy. And then Nick Madrigal playing third base, and we all know he's a second baseman. Cardinal. Goldschmidt, stop at him second. If he's middle lineup with Nolan Arenado, that's really a, impossible three through four. I like Tommy Edmond leading off, but again, stop playing in center field. If Lars Nukbar and Dylan Carlson are both healthy, those are the first two guys that I can think of that have more career innings in center field. I know Edmund has been bumped out of the infield because Paul DeYoung is back and hitting, and they got Donovan and Gorman at second base, but, like, come on. Stop playing in the outfield. He played some infield. I do like that um, he is in the top of the lineup because when they were batting seventh or eighth, it was just, I uh, mean, seventh or sixth, there's no offensive value there. Matt's pitch on a bullpen is just weird because we all know he's a starting pitcher. Burleson, the corner infielder, outfielder, DH of this team. Pitched in a game, and then they obviously he, they lost to DH all that maneuvering. Giants, I like Lamonte Way leading off. But again, not a first baseman. And the injuries in the outfield keep piling up. You know, Hanniger's out for a while. There's a lot of guys. So they did play him a little bit in the outfield. And Jock Peterson, they also played him in the outfield. I was like, good, you're not going to DH this guy. But again, he's not a two-hitter or a leadoff hitter. Let him just bat in the middle line him. That's the whole point of a DH. And Sable, again, he's a catcher. Let him catch. Stop playing in the outfield. As I mentioned, if you put Lamonte Way and Jock Peterson in your outfield, that's not a bad decision. Let Sable maybe play first base because he's a catcher. And again, Slater, I'm glad he's playing right field left field because we all know he's not a center fielder. Then you have Shamanai and Ross Stripling pitching on a bullpen when they're starters. And then they used an opener one day and have Alex Wood come in after. Just to start Alex Wood, that makes no sense. Arizona, Perdomo leading off. It's okay, but, you know... I'm not saying he's a great hitter, so I would not put him in the leadoff spot. And then Corbin Carroll batting third. He made the all-star team as a rookie. That's cool. But they have other guys who had won a third spot, but that's just me. You know, when you got Christian Walker, Pavin Smith, Lourdes Gurriel, and Evelyn Goria. And Smith, again, playing some first base in DH, batting somewhere between six and eight. Good. No leading off, no outfield. And Emmanuel Rivera not batting one or two, and they're batting six or seven. That's good. The Dodgers, Mookie Betts and Freeman, one and two is a problem because Freeman's a cleanup hitter and Mookie Betts would be an amazing three hitter. But you can live with Mookie Betts leading off if you put Freeman in the middle lineup because no offense to Will Smith and Max Muncy, that's not a 3-4 that I'm really afraid of. Will Smith is not Buster Posey or Joe Maurer or even Mitch Garver's power at catcher, okay? And then Mookie, stop playing second base or shortstop. If he's not starting in right field, let him play center field. I know he's an infielder by trade, but stop doing that. It's just... Your best asset, you're just trying to get him hurt. Houston, Altuve leading off and Bregman batting second. I was against that the last couple of years. But then they started putting Bregman in the middle lineup, and I was like, cool, and Altuve batted second a few times. I look when Dubone leads off, but again, he's not a first baseman. And Don Kessinger's relative is not a first baseman. He's a shortstop middle infielder by the lineage. He's not should not be playing first base. They got other guys who can't play the outfield, for God's sakes. They should be playing first base. And then Chaz McCormick and Jeremy Pena batting fifth and sixth. When again, I'm not looking for offense from those guys. I'm looking for defense. And then another day, they're batting eighth and ninth. So if someday they're batting eighth and ninth, why would I want a fifth or sixth? Then they lost the H maneuvering. And then San Diego. Cronworth, again, batting fifth or sixth in the lineup and getting first base value. He's not going to give you that. He's not a power hitter. Dixon is a utility man, not an outfielder or first baseman. Rudan Odor, not an outfielder. He's a second baseman by trade. I know you want his bat in the lineup, but still... And then Soto batting second is stupid. I like that they had Kim leading off and Tatis batting second because that makes a lot of sense. Speed and contact. Cruz, if he's this great DH, why is he batting eight? That's kind of an insult to him. And then Tatis playing center field when, like, literally Trent Grisham's a gold glover. And you should have a real fourth outfield in the team to play center field. Washington, I like Thomas and Garcia, one and two. Speed and contact. Candelario's on the league worst hitters last year. Maybe he's rebounding this year. But I wouldn't rely on him to be a three-hitter going forward. And keep out Ruiz again. We've been over this. Not a middle-year hitter. Sixth and seventh is good for a, a franchise catcher. 
And Emil Vargas, utility man. They don't bat six in the lineup. And then Chad Cool pitching on a bullpen when he's a starter. Then you got Colorado, where we got Profar playing the outfield as an infielder always makes me cringe. Harold Castro, a second baseman shortstop, playing the outfield makes me cringe, but then he played some infield. And Nolan Jones, who's a corner infielder playing the outfield also, like Chris Bryant, makes me cringe. And then Randall Gritchard batting second, when you got this guy for his bat to drive and run. So he should be at like fifth, sixth, or seventh. Playing a lot of left field and right field, good. Not a center fielder. I like the Tovar guy or Treo batting second. I'm like, good, speed and contact there. There's Diaz guy, the catcher, is most likely a backup or a third stringer on 90-something percent of the teams in the league. So why would I want this guy clean up? There's other guys you're paying money like CJ Crone to bat in the middle of the lineup. And then Peter Lambert should be starting, not pitching on a bullpen. Angels, Taylor Ward leading off and playing catcher again. I mean, Alfio, when he's a catcher by trade, is stupid. He should not be batting in the leadoff spot. Fifth is totally fine because, again, they want his bat. Otani or Trout batting second when one should be third and one should be fourth. Obviously, they lose the ditch maneuvering with Otani when he leaves the game as a starter. And this Velasquez dude there, I remember last year when they were so screwed up with injuries that this dude was out there playing shortstop, second base, or third base. It's a stretch for him to play the outfield. Tyson, we've known if he's a corner infielder, outfielder, most in the big leagues, not a catcher. And I see him not play good catch, not be a good catcher recently with some of the plays he's made behind the plate. Hunter Renfro could win a gold glove in right field or left field. Hey, Taylor Ward as well is the catcher. I would much rather take Taylor Ward, a natural born catcher, and put this guy in first base and let, you know, Hunter Renfro play the outfield. I know they want to give bats to Mickey Moniak, but don't play Hunter Renfro at first base. Brewers, Yelich batting third is great, but when he bats one or two, it's silly. Same thing with Winker batting second. They're million hitters. Winker batting fifth has been great. Willie Thomas is a one or two hitter, not a cleanup hitter. And then the whole Miller playing first base and then batting fifth when they can literally play Rowdy Telez and a few other guys at first base and let this utility guy play second base, shortstop, or third base because it's a little more important. Again, he's not a million hitter. I like Anderson playing third base because literally within the last week, I seen him make at least two, maybe three amazing defensive plays. And then Urias plays second base because, again, he's a middle infielder by trade. Cleveland, the whole Rosario Jimenez thing, one playing second base, one playing shortstop to get the most value. And that should be Ahmed Rosario second base, Rosario shortstop. And then Ahmed Rosario is not a two-hitter. He he swings a lot try to hitting a home run. And Jimenez always in the driving clutch runs. I want him at the top of the lineup. And Arias is an infielder by trade, so it's not playing in the outfield or even first base. And this Fry guy, is he a catcher? Is he a first base, third baseman? I see him make bad plays in the outfield. I don't know where this guy's supposed to play. Ace, I like Tony Kemp. Stop playing in the outfield and batting second leading off. Not an outfielder. Nuda, still, I don't understand why he's not in the middle of the lineup with Seth Brown and Brent Rooker. Because they get utility guys or not great power hitters like Blade batting in the middle of the lineup. And then Carlos Perez is the third string catcher batting either second, third, or fourth, playing first base or DH. I'm like, what are you doing with this third string catcher, man? And then the Jays. I like Springer playing right field. They stopped doing that this year with him in center. But I would rather him play center field than Dalton Varsho play center, who's a catcher by trade and has only played the outfield because there was too many catchers in Sandy, in Arizona, excuse me. And again, I don't want to see Whit Merrifield in the left field or even Biggio in the outfield because, again, they're infielders. But with Shep batting second and Blatty batting fourth, or third is good. I just, Bo was batting third. Come on. He's good at the top. And Springer, again, leading off. I'd rather him in the middle, but he's done it so much. And then Whit Merrifield batting six is way too high, but batting second is perfect. Texas, the Simeon Seager thing I got a problem with. If you want to leave Simeon in the leadoff spot, Seager should be middle lineup with Adoles Garcia and Nate Lau and then Young. I don't understand why he's batting second. I liked when I saw Jankowski bat second and Will Smith, excuse me, Josh Smith. They got a Will Smith on that team also. Playing third base. That's his position, but then he's still playing shortstop in a game. Yankee, the whole Bowers leading off and playing the outfield is stupid when they can bat in fifth, and I know there's no room at first right through DH, but again, maybe put him in left field. Glaber Torres batting second or third, and when I would probably bat him sixth or seventh. Stan and Rizzo at any point being three through five is perfect. Tijla LeMayu batting leadoff one day, batting fifth, batting sixth, batting seventh, playing third base, playing first, playing second base. The second base is a spot, top of the lineup is where he should be. IKF playing the outfield, I see him make some bad plays. He's not an outfielder. He's a catcher by trade, not not an outfielder. Vol- Volpe batting ninth is fine to put the rookie shortstop there. And Cabrera playing the outfield when he's an infielder. They did a little bit. And then I love Harrison Bader. He's a, his father's Jewish. He's supposed to play for Team Israel. It didn't work out. Whatever the case is. I'm, I'm okay with it now. I don't okay with him batting three through five when he's a glove first player. Second is okay, but not ideal. Phillies, the Kyle Schwerber leading off and stop batting sixth. 
is wrong. You need power guys in the middle of the lineup and speed and contact at the top. Trey Turner batting second. Happy birthday to you. Perfect spot for you for not leading off. Strom started the year in the rotation, but now he's in the bullpen. Josh Harrison is utility man. Batting seven is too high, and we over this. Cody Clemens not really a first baseman. The Mets. Marte back in the two spot, which I'm okay with if you keep Lindor in the third spot. McNeil batting one time, five, six, seven. Like, keep this dude in one spot. And then Canna, not a third baseman. Why were you picking a first baseman who's played out for the third base? It's really stupid. Mariner. Tyler Kalenic was batting third or fourth in the middle of the lineup, or fifth. Then they started batting leadoff. I'm like, dude, J.P. Crawford, it's been totally fine in that spot. Like, I, I just don't get it. Then they bat him seven. I'm like, that's a good spot for him until he proves it. And then Julio Rodriguez batting second is great because then they put Ty France in the middle, like where he belongs. And Dylan Morris, I'm playing the outfield. I know he's a utility man, but he play- me, it's just a bad play recently. He's not an outfielder. Oh, if Gunnar Anderson's a shortstop, then why isn't he playing shortstop every day? That's just my question for you. Then him leading off the super when he's batting sixth or seventh or fifth, like that five through seven spot. Ali Rushman could drive in way more runs batting fifth or sixth than second. I like O'Hearn finally get to play first base, batting cleanup, stop playing in the outfield. Hayes, leading off is cool, but he's not a three through six hitter. And again, it wasted the H spot when he could DH so many other guys. Frazier batting seven is too high. She either be first two or bottom two. Lost the DH maneuvering. This guy named Lester, who I never heard of, pitched in a blow, but he's a utility man. It's not that there should be staying three through five. Don't put him second. And don't play him at first base when literally he makes good plays in the outfield. Hicks, he's rejuvenated a bit with the Yankees, but he's not a cleanup hitter. And Urias is a shortstop by trade. If he's not going to play second base shortstop or third base, then you don't play him. You just give him, you just continue to have him sit on the bench. He's not a first base and a Mullins back leading off is good. Pirates. Key Brian Hayes batting leadoff. Connor Joe batting leadoff. Cutchin, no. Those are power mid the order hitters to drive and run. Cutchin batting second, no. He should be middle lineup. Connor Joe is an outfielder, but is not an outfielder. He's a first baseman by trade. Okay? Stop playing him in the outfield. I know you want his bat. Davis is the catcher by trade. Again, throwing another guy in the, in the outfield. And Jace Juan Bay should be playing second base every day because they have a hole there and let Sawinski play center field every day and him batting leadoff is totally fine. Sawinski batting third, I think fifth or sixth is a good spot for him. And again, leading off for a guy who's leading the team in home runs is silly. And Palacios batting third when most people never heard of him. Miami, the Solaire batting second when he should be in the lineup is stupid. Arise batting leadoff is much better than him batting third, but he should be batting second. Then he got to start at first base. I'm like, they have enough first basements in Garrett Cooper and Guriel, and it's just silly to do that. Cruz and Sanchez batting three and four, then one other day I saw one of them batting eighth or ninth. Like, those are not really hard hitters. Birdie, again, batting six is way too high for utility, man. Wendell's on a shortstop. He's most of second baseman, third baseman. Hampson's an infielder. Stop playing him in the outfield, nor Jazz Chisholm in center field, and batting cleanup. Like, he should be at the top of the line of Jazz Chisholm with his speed. The reason why he was on the injured list for so long, because he was playing the outfield. Reds, Friedel, and McLean, one and two, perfect. The whole Jonathan India no longer one and two because they got other guys. And he's an all-around player. That's fine. But never seen a rookie with this much pressure batting cleanup. Fraley is not a fifth hitter. He should be batting lower. Spencer Steering playing some first base. Cool. Not an outfit. He's an infielder by trade. Newman batting leadoff is good. But again, if he don't have room in second base, shortstop, or third base, there's don't need to put a shortstop at first base. And Senzel, they're going to keep not switching back and forth between the outfield and infield. I thought we finally figured this out. He's better suited to be in the infield. Atlanta, Lacuna, and Albies one and two, and Olsen four. I'm okay with Lacuna leading off if they get the Albies in the two spot and not having batting four through six, and Olsen's not batting second anymore. Just keep him four and five. That's fine. And Lacuna playing right fields where he belongs. Minnesota. You spend all this money on Correa to be the middle lineup, and so and Buxton. So stop moving Buxton from one, two, three, and four, and Correa between two, three, and four. So Lionel leading off, fine for utility man. But again, second baseman, third baseman, not a first baseman. When he can literally play Joey Gallo and Killer off at first base. Okay, and this Royce Lewis guy, I'm so he's glad he's back after an injury, but he's not a cleanup hitter. And Willie Castro is a utility man, so I don't bet utility man fifth or sixth. And again, not an outfit, he's an infielder. Chris Avast is your everyday catcher. Don't put him at first base. And Kyle Farmer is a utility guy. I wouldn't bet that guy cleanup. And Julian leading off is great, but again, don't DH a guy that you don't need to DH when you can DH Gallo and all these other guys. McKinstry, again, infielder playing the outfield. I know he's a utility man, but just play a Kiel Badu and Veerling. Just play real outfielders in the outfield, okay? Torkelson, his power's been showing recently. I'd want him in the middle lineup with Javi Baez, not second. Kerry Carpenter, I don't know if he's an outfielder who can't play the outfield or a third baseman who can't play third base. But that's where McKinstry and Andy Abanez and Maton should be playing instead of them playing the outfield. And again, I'm not afraid of Carpenter in the middle lineup, nor Andy Abanez, light-hitting super utility man who has signed a minor deal with Tigers in the offseason. I don't want him third. Second's totally fine, but again, not an outfielder. 
Maton, I don't want a three through five. Scope playing third base at this point is stupid when you can just play him at his actual position second base because they don't have an everyday second baseman. Insult to Miggy in his last season batting him seven. And Tyler Nevin is going on the way of his father. He's an infielder by trade, but they're out there playing in the outfield. So he did play some first base. He's got a good bat. Just maybe play him at third base. Maybe. Scope pitched in a blowout. And then Haas. Is it a rule that Tigers have to play every catcher in the outfield? Because Jake Rogers had some innings in the outfield, and he's supposed to be a good defensive catcher. Like, I, I just don't get it. It's not like Haas is laying the league on fire. They need to put him in the outfield when he's not catching. Uh, Tampa Bay. Rangers are to be middle lineup, not second. I like Margot leading off of the speed. Harry Ramirez, if you don't, he's a backup outfielder, not a DH or a first baseman. I don't trust those guys about third and fourth. Taylor Walls is a good defensive infielder, but not a sixth hitter. And Yanni batting leadoff one again. Should be middle lineup. I like Wander Franco second. Then Kansas City. Prado gets to play first base with Pasatino after the year. But again, not a leadoff hitter. Middle lineup guy. Melendez batting third or fourth or fifth. And they just want one thing out of Melendez, his bat. Switching from right field to left field because he's not a great defensive outfielder nor a catcher. You're going to have to live with that. Nicky Lopez batting six is way too high for a guy who's only going to give you value defensively at second base or shortstop, not third base. Olivia Aris should not be DHing because, again, they don't have a set outfield and they could DH Matt Beatty or Prado. Like, there's enough guys to DH or Melendez. Salvador Rez should be in the middle lineup, never second. Duffy should not be batting third. He's a utility guy and he pitched in a blowout. This Taylor dude, we don't know if he's a second baseman really or an outfield that keeps going back and forth. They lost the DH maneuvering because of Witt started at DH. I'm like, come on. And then Michaela Garcia, he's a shortstop. I guess that's why he's playing third base because they got Whit Merrifield. Red Sox, Rob Refschneider is not an outfielder, but again, they throw, they're throw they throwing Kiki Hernandez out there because utility guys can do that. But again, leading off is okay. Three is a stretch for utility guy. Turner batting second when she's been in the lineup is stupid. I like when Days doing Adam Duvall DH and play right field or bat at fifth and Devers batting fourth and no longer batting second is cool. But again, Duvall's not a center fielder. I'd much rather play shortstop Kiki Hernandez in center field and Jalen Duran any other day of the week than playing Duvall in center. Wong is a backup catcher, not sixth hitter. And Arroyo's a backup infielder that starts a lot for the team. He's not a middle or hitter. I like Jalen Duran leading off, Verdugo batting third, but they keep batting Verdugo either one, two, or three. Keep him in one spot. But Veta is a starter pitching on the bullpen, and Kiki Hernandez seventh a little bit too high for the guy. White Sox, Benintendi and TA, they swapped at one and two, but Tim Anderson hasn't been hitting. I got no problem if you want to pull Remillard or Elvis Andrews second. That's totally fine. Do not put Vaughn or Berger second. They're, they can't score from first base on a double. It's just horrible. I went to a game, and then it was like two games in a row, where Elvis Andrews actually got the start of shortstop, and they put Tim Anderson second base, and it still didn't help Tim Anderson. Just keep him in his position so he's comfortable and let him get out of his funk. Sheets played the outfield. We went over. He's the first base of my trade. Stop playing in the outfield. And again, he made some bad plays. I cringe when he and Aloy play the outfield, but at least Aloy's a natural one outfielder. And then, of course, Vaughn did play first base in a game recently. I mean, Sheets, excuse me, played first base because, again, Gavin Sheets and Aloy are both DHs, and you can't DH two guys. They Sox continue to do an opener because they have no pitching depth whatsoever. They should just start Tuki Toussaint in one of those games, even if he only goes four innings. Berger played first base in a game. That's cool. And Remillard batted leadoff because that's speed and contact. Thanks again for listening to another edition of LB Observations Week 13 of the 2023 season. 23 season for on the red table log. I'm ready. See you guys next time.